Hey, what's going on, builders? Krosama here. So we're gonna take a look at the new event, Covert Gabera, and we're gonna see exactly if it's going to be worth your energy and if this mobile suit is something that you really want to invest in. Uh, but first, I do want to start giving a shout out to NewTypeHQ.com. Um, they are my uh, sponsors for this channel, and uh, I I know that if, you know this is not technically Gumpla um in a way of like hey it's physical gunpla but you know it's still gundam and i think a lot of people are starting to slowly get into uh gunpla because of this game so i do want to give a shout out to new type you can find their link right there in the description down below uh go down to their website use that promo code crossama to get your you know 10 percent off any purchases they are an amazing site and trust me this is not coming from someone like i, I know i'm sponsored by them but I have purchased from them before and I thoroughly enjoy their customer service. I talked with uh, the employee there. Um, it's it's, a, it's an amazing uh, place to be honest. So if you want to start getting the Gunpla, especially the Sandrock, because that first wave is going to have a promo code, so that way you can use Sandrock in this game, um, definitely go ahead and start doing your pre-orders now. And uh, I'll let you know any future uh, kits that are coming out that's going to have the code. So we're taking a look at the new event. Uh, obviously, it's pretty similar to the uh, past events. Uh, if you have the Blitz, you're going to get a two times multiplier. If you have the Dragon Gundam part, you're going to have a five times multiplier. And if you have uh, one red frame, a stray part, you're going to have a seven times multiplier. So that's really good. Um, I did manage to get a uh, red frame, a stray part. So I am going to be using the head on my Barbados. Uh, but there's a couple of things uh, to note all here. So we'll go ahead and dive into it. Now, obviously, you're going to complete you know, missions to get uh, coins. And obviously, based on the multiplier, you get more coins. Uh, collect covert coins to exchange for great rewards. So you're going to have more of these amazing awakening circuits, which are really going to need. And then the Go, um, Gobera is going to be there as an acquirable uh, MS as well. And then you can also get the Astray Red Frame Flame Paint. That is the actual sauna. I think that's her name, sauna. No, no, not Sana. What's the other chick's name? Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. But the other uh, girl from the uh, from the storyline, uh, she's the one that has the astray body with like the dragon arms. Uh, so you're gonna get that paint job, which is really interesting. I love how they're uh, you know allowing you to essentially customize the same parts uh, from these kits. So we've already had Sana's with the uh, the X Dividers backpack and the basically the uh, the strikes body. So that's I, I really do enjoy the way they're taking this. Now this event will end on August 27th at 8 p.m. Uh, PTD, so just make sure you go ahead and uh, complete everything before then. Uh, I generally, I generally get these done about a day beforehand, so that's gonna be fairly good. Um, it shows the event period right there and event details. We've already kind of like looked at all this. I'm gonna take a look at the login bonus. Um, we're gonna take a look at the achievements. So event missions, you know, once again, they're just kind of telling you, um, hey, multipliers, use these. That way you can get even more coins. Um, then looking down here, only applies to the equip part with the highest multiplier. So if you only have, let's say you have a blitz part and a stray, it's only going to take that one astray part. It's not going to take the blitz with it. So this is going to be the first time we're seeing an EX mission. So this EX Covert Gabera is a high difficulty mission where you can't use continues. Clear the mission to complete its achievement and unlock the Covert Gabera title. The difficulty of this mission will be displayed as very hard. And please note that uh, clearing the EX will not contribute to the completion of the uh, Covert Gabera very hard achievement. Y there is one achievement. We're going to take a look at it. But there is one achievement for the EX. Uh, but there is still the normal 30 uh, achievements for the very hard mode. So we will take a look at that. And for the event login bonus, you can uh, obtain items every single day throughout the event. So you get 150 Haro chips in your second login. Uh, you get an AI Awakening Circuit, which is really good. Uh, another Awakening Circuit. So the Awakening Circuits is something I, I look forward to way more than the actual chips. I know people want the chips a lot, but these Awakening Circuits is what you're going to need to beef up your suit all the way to uh, rank 5. And that's kind of like what my whole intentions are, is to get a complete rank 5 mobile suit. So we're taking a look at the event achievements. Um, you, you're really going to be getting a lot of good stuff. So you're going to start off with the capital. This is all for the normal missions. All you're going to do is clear four, uh, not clear four. You're going to clear 10 of the uh, normal missions. You're going to get some pretty decent stuff just from the normal. And on the 10th one, you are going to be getting a blue awakening. And that's going to be super important because Papa Crow has been uh, dying for some more blue awakenings. Um, now for hard mode, it should be 20. You should be completing 20 of these. You get some more awakening circuits, which is really good. Another blue one. Um, then just keep going down. You got an AI blue one. 
And on the 20th one, you get the Awakening Circuit that is going to be for uh, going to the 5th rank. So, really excited about that. I'm probably going to be trying to get that hard mode completed as soon as possible. Then we go to very hard mode. So, once again, you get, yeah, man, some more blue ones. That's, oh, I love seeing it. Uh, I don't really care about the nippers, to be honest, because I generally don't use, I'm trying not to level up uh, that way anymore. I'm trying to go the more natural route by uh, just leveling up through missions, and that, that works pretty well. And then you're going to get another uh, AI Awakening Circuit, which is going to be amazing, because I am going to be able to get a five-star uh, AI pilot finally. And just looking through it, you know, definitely you get another uh, Awakening Circuit, so that's going to put me at, because I think I have one, two, three. So that'll be three uh, in total I'll have, and then I'll get one more from the uh, the shop. So we'll take a look at the shop as well. But clearing the one EX, you're going to get 30,000 capital. You're going to get Covert Gebera as a title as well, so that's not too bad. But I do think that that award, whoa, I just noticed, you get two Awakening Circuits from clearing um, 30 event missions very hard. Oh, I want to I wanna thank Bandai Namco for this one. Oh, that's so good. I, I really didn't even realize that. That's that's fantastic news. <laughs> okay, so awesome again, two Awakening Circuits, and then that uh, capital. I do wish it was a little a little bit juicier, maybe even um, maybe even 50,000. But hey, 30,000, that's not too bad. I do need capital in the first place. So we're coming over here to the actual shop. Uh, we're gonna take a look at the kit in question, if I can uh, long hold, there we go. So I can't really see the final stats, so I'm not gonna be doing analysis right now. I'm just kinda like looking at it. We're gonna just, it's a quick glance, if you will. So we're Gundam type enemy shooting power boosted. Wow. Wow. With Gundam type enemy shooting power boosted 8%. So that's interesting. This is interesting to know going into the missions. Do not. So with Gundam type, that should be the word tag, if I'm not mistaken. So it would be it'd be beneficial. Yeah. Wow. So it, it would be beneficial to not use the word tag Gundam type because you do not want the Gabara to have that perk. So that yeah, that's interesting to know. That's really good, actually, especially for arenas. Now we're looking at the body with Gundam type enemy, EX skill damage, output boosted by six. That's not really like, I mean, it's obviously, uh, if you level up that even further, it's probably gonna be around what, maybe like 12 ish or so, uh, maybe even uh, 18. But, eh, it's okay. I mean, extra damage is always gonna be good, but uh, yeah, it's, it's truly interesting to be honest. And we're going to have our first EX skill. So this is going to be a physical shot, the uh, 110 millimeter uh, auto cannon. Um, so piercing is going to be B. It's going to have a power of D. Magazine of eight. Okay. I think that's the first time I've ever really seen that for EX skill. No, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. Cooldown is going to be um, 60 seconds and then first time zero. So you pretty much you start off with this uh, EX skill. It's pretty much like the shields, uh, but it's coming from the arms. Huh, so fire live ammunition from your forearm, you can move while firing. Okay, so it's just like the, a lot of the shields that have the missiles. Uh, so you're going to get eight shots with that. But yeah, I think, that, I think that's pretty good. It's a long, long cooldown, but at least you uh, you can initiate that. And honestly, the piercing's pretty good. A, a B? Uh, and I'm pretty sure it's going to increase whenever you level it up. So I'm definitely curious to see that. And with the legs, we're going to have another EX skill. So this one's going to be Beam Melee. Uh, so Piercing of D, Power of C minus. Uh, cooldown's pretty fast. Unleash a combo with sabers in your right hand. Eh, I think that's okay. Um, it's kind of weird that, the, that it's coming from the legs. So I don't know. I, I'm, I'm really, I haven't really seen this uh, mobile suit in action. So I uh, definitely like to see this, but that's, that's an okay EX skill. So looking at the backpack, when armor is 60% or more, buff EX skill effect up 1%. So that's pretty good. Um, I mean, it's not really going to apply to any of these uh, because the EX skills don't have an effect. Um, they're all just normal attacks. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, so obviously that would, the backpack would go really well with something that is like, um, let's, oh, well, no, it's the backpack. So you can't back, you can't do it with another backpack. Um, I can't really think maybe like with the Vulcans. So usually a lot of Gundams have like the Vulcans and it does like a lot of debuffs 
Um, so that's... Oh, it's well, more buff. So it's buff. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of weird. So it would definitely be just a buff EX skill, not a debuff. Um, so that's my fault. Hmm. Yeah, so some things like, re I think, the recovery. Uh, I think that might fall into the buff. Definitely like to see a little bit more about this, though. And for its weapon, you got the beam machine gun. So the panic maker is going to be uh, category beam shot, piercing B minus, uh, power is a, a D. Really good cooldown right there. Fire special high power rounds from your machine gun. So that's actually not too bad from a weapon. Obviously, it's not going to uh, beat a lot of the things that we already have established, um, such as the mace or even the Gundam's uh, you know, beam, beam rifle. But it's still, I think for a three star, it is actually still really good. Now looking at the rest of everything, so you are still going to be able to get an Awakening Circuit. You, get, you can get one of those, uh, and also one Blue Awakening Circuits. And then the same thing is going to be for the AI. You get some skip tickets if you want. I'm, I'm not buying any more. I think I have around 200 skip tickets, and I don't really try to spend any. Uh, now once again, the Nippers, it's up to you. If you have like extra coin, go ahead and get it. I personally don't um, buy any of like the upgrade memories or the upgrade nippers, uh, but I will be getting that color because that's, you know, exclusive in a way. And I don't know why I'm not scrolling down. Uh, but the first thing I'm getting is going to be that awakening circuit. Uh, then I'm getting the AI awakening circuit. Then I'll get the blue awakening circuit, the blue AI. I'll get the color. Then I'll pick up all the uh, Gebera parts. You, and you really don't need all 15. I think what a couple of uh, my friends said is that you only need 11. Um, I, I, I could be wrong. It might be 12. But I know for a fact what a lot of people report it is that you do not need all 15 of those parts. So um, if, you, if you really don't want to spend all your coins on them, you don't have to. But it also will be good to buy all 15 because you can sell some for the platinum. Um, and that's going to be three coins, uh, three platinum coins. Per, uh, per part that you actually sell so that's going to be pretty good but uh that guys this event is going to be really good so let's just jump right into uh i think we have plenty of time yeah we have plenty of time so let's go ahead and jump into some missions now we're gonna <clears throat> now we are going to do normal mission first and let's take a look at what we need to do for these challenges um so we got mission clear that's gonna be easy use your ex skill one time easy clear without taking any damage so this is going to be a very, very easy uh, mission. It's going to be five energy, so you're probably going to get one coin. Uh, I do believe I already have my... Oh, wait. What am I doing? Let me go back. I'm going to go back a couple. Because I don't want to edit this squad. I have different squads for different like types of uh, missions. So here we go. So I got my good squad right here. I already have the Astray Red Frame uh, head attached. Now, one thing you need to take note. So all these guys are all rounders. The little circle... Gabera is a speed. Speed beats power. I am a power. I am shooting myself in the foot, literally. So, mmm. You know, te technical is what you're going to want. I do have a couple of technical suits, but they're nowhere near, um, I would say, combat ready. Really, the only two I have is going to be my new Gundam. I do have Titus, which is power. And I also have my boy, my bo uh, Barbados is going to be power. So it probably would be better if I used uh, the new Gundam because speed and speed is just going to cancel out. It's going to be neutral damage. But you know what? Let's go against the grain and we're going to use my Barbados. So let's go ahead and see how the normal mode is. All right. We're jumping right into normal mode. A little bit of lag, huh? Kind of weird. Oh, yeah. We're supposed to use one EX skill, right? And don't take any damage. Well, oof. That lag is real right now. So I'm kind of just hanging back because I do want to complete. Um, I do want to complete this without taking any damage. Uh, so there's Gabera. This is my Artemis. Oh, oh, I took damage. God damn it. Well, I gotta do this nine more times anyway, so it kind of is what it is. All right, man, that sucks. But, uh, yeah, I'll definitely do this over again. Okay, so let's take a look at hard mode. Hard mode is going to be successfully guard one time and clear with a technique. God damn it. <laughs> definitely wants me to use a technique attribute. So, um, I do have a technique, and I my other crew should be able to uh, handle the guys. So, I'll just roll in with this crew and um, honestly just hope for the best. So, 
let's go ahead and just jump right in. All right, now we're on hard mode. Hopefully it shouldn't lag. Oh, I got a, I got a guard. No, I completely forgot I had a uh, in fighter. No support. Fuck. All right, kind of is what it is. I, I still gotta do this like 20 times. Oh boy. All right. And my crew's doing really good. There we go. <clears throat> so it's pretty easy. Um, Gabara. Oh. Please don't, please don't push my shit in. I'm going in, boys. Oh, I'm doing nothing. Oh, I'm doing nothing to that mobile suit. Oh, Dom. And that's it. Okay. So, yeah, I'll go again, and I'll just use a different mobile suit to get the other uh, challenge completed. Um, oh, and I just realized, because I used the technique and I didn't have any extra parts, I only get three. So, and missed out on some coin, but, hey, it kind of is what it is. Now let's take a look at very hard mode. So use your EX skill three times and clear under six seconds. All right, so we're gonna go back to my boys. This is like my, my main crew for right now because uh, I'm trying to level them up. So hopefully everything should go good. And I'll choose you. I'm sorry, Dipper. I know uh, I usually I usually choose my boy Dipper. He's in the Discord, He's a he's a good old vet. Uh, so definitely appreciate him um, being around for so long, but yeah, let's just jump right in All right, my boys EX skill Come on Bam Come on oh. Come on Hey, he's got him. All right Come on. Come on. Come on Woo! One punch! Oh, that bitch touched me. That's trial by death. There we go. Oh, come on. Come on, hurry up. I don't know if that clock's still ticking. 1,400. All right, I'm sorry. I got to do this to you. Oh, it's this bitch. Okay. I thought I got the Gabara. Get him. Easy. Easy peasy. All right, my lads, I'm pretty sure y'all are waiting for this moment. EX, Covert Gabara, very hard. Look at that approximate combat power. A hundred. A hundred thousand. Let's see what the challenges are. Defeat one enemy or more. Clear it under 300. So it's basically just beat it. That's... So I'm, I'm going to edit my team. This is what I'm going to do, right? So I'm going to keep my boy Barbados. But I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change my Artemis to my new Gundam. I think that's solid. I think that is a solid team. So let's just jump right in. All right. Let's see how hard this really is. Oh no. I know it's lagging a little bit. All right. It's not looking so hard right now. Oh, oh! I don't like I don't like the way you're coming at me like that, my boy. All right. Hey, where you going? Where you going? Come on! I want to say something to you. I want to say something, Dom. All right. Hmm. Now, obviously, I know some people could probably say like, "Why are you a mid shooter? Why aren't you an in fighter, out fighter?" Uh, I'm trying to complete challenges, so I'm I only have supporter and mid fighter left to complete. So I'm just, I'm just using that right now. I'm really like not concerned. Bam! These are some. Look at that damage they're doing to me. They are actually, they're putting work on me right now. Well, I'm gonna change targets. All right. Yeah, that's that's something else, huh? These Zaku's are actually like, they're 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 hurting me a little bit. All right, last shooting. I need I need you, my boy. I'm saving all my. I'm saving the rest of my EX skill just for. Uh, wait, what am I targeting? <laughs> it's like I'm saving the rest of my EX skill for uh, Gabara because he. He's gonna be dangerous. There we go. All right, you're getting the iron impact. 
Uh, was that 9,000? Oof. All right. Oh, that Dom. Oh my God. I'm trying. I'm trying to just do all the damage I can do. Oh, please don't. I'm off. I can do this. No. <gasps> ah. Ah. Why are we still here? Just to suffer every night. Okay, so what you want to do is not exactly what I just did. Um, so I, I was weak to Gibera because I am a power MS and hey, speed beats power. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this off screen. I don't want to show y'all exactly what I'm about to do because I'm, I'm about to do some, some cheap stuff and do a lot of long range stuff. So uh, probably just going to throw the Exe ahead on my new Gundam and uh, just go to town on this guy. So, uh, But I'll do that off screen because we already kind of ran our course a long time on this video. Uh, but definitely appreciate everyone for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll be seeing y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.